Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. You know this colony and the equipment. You better come with us. Not a chance in hell. You just gonna let the collectors take your friends? I'm a mechanic. What am I supposed to do? Whack him with my wrench? I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. Interesting. I expected to run across more paralyzed colonists in this area. Colonists loaded onto ship. Collectors nearly finished here. Need to hurry.
Where's the transmitter? Normandy, do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. Time to show these things we give as good as we get. Edie, bring the defense towers online. Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Collectors will respond with force to stop it. Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Incoming. Reinforcements likely. Got to be more. Edie, we need that system online. A new one. Whatever that is, don't get too close. Didn't work!
right away. That ship is huge. Exactly how are we supposed to catch it? Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something. I did my best. You just hid in your damn bunker. If it wasn't for Shepard, you'd all be on board that ship. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard, captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a legend, Delan. And a ghost. All the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you Alliance types. I thought you were dead, Shepard. We all did. You don't sound too happy to see me. Something bothering you, Caden? Yeah, something's bothering me. I spent the past two years believing you were dead. Thought we had something, Shepard. Something real. I loved you. Thinking you were dead tore me apart. How could you put me through that? Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now. I can't believe the reports were right. Reports? So much for security. Alliance Intel thought Cerberus might be behind the missing human colonies. I got a tip this colony might be the next one to get hit. Anderson stonewalled me, but there were rumors that you weren't dead, that you were working for the enemy. Cerberus and I want the same thing, to save our colonies. That doesn't mean I answer to them. Do you really believe that? Or is that just what Cerberus wants you to think? I wanted to believe the rumors that you were alive, but I never expected anything like this. You turned your back on everything we believed in. You betrayed the Alliance. You betrayed me. Caden, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I want to believe you, Shepard. But I don't trust Cerberus. They could be using the threat of a Reaper to manipulate you. What if they're behind it? What if they're working with the Collectors? Typical Alliance attitude. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're blind to the real threat. I can see you won't listen to reason. You show up after two years and tell me you're working with Cerberus. What does reason figure into any of this? You've changed. But I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. Always will be. I've got to report back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story or not. I could use someone like you and my crew, Caden. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'll never work for Cerberus. Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. Enough of this colony. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. 
That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. I wondered if you had something to do with that attack. Caden said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. I released a few carefully disguised rumors that you might be alive and working for Cerberus. I see. What were you trying to prove? I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. It was a risk, but I couldn't just wait for them to take another colony. You understand? We chase them off once, find a target, and I'll hit it. Our target is set, but we can't reach it yet. It's their home world. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you've put your past relationships behind you? None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. I need you sharp and focused if we're gonna get this done, Taylor. That's what I meant, Commander. I don't want any distractions when we hit the relay. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? Sorry, I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. If it affects my crew, it's my business. Sir, I don't want to distract from our mission. Especially if it turns out to be nothing. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. It's only a waste of time if you jerk me around. What is it? My father was first officer on a ship that went missing ten years ago. I had not talked to him for three years prior. His ship, the Hugo Gernsback, sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and a request for rescue. Just like that, out of the black. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck, see if it's legit. If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? <laughs> 